AITA. Am I the a hole for evicting my tenants after disposing their dead dog? A property of mine has been rented by a family for four years now. About two weeks ago, the family had informed me that their dog had died, and they wanted to bury it in the yard behind the house. I told them no, as I don't want carcasses buried in my yard. I suggested that they could either cremate the dog, and keep its ashes or bury it somewhere further, as long as it is not part of my property. The family had tried to argue but I stood my ground. When I dropped by a week later, I noticed that there was an odd patch in the yard. The patch where covered stones were neatly arranged into a circle, and in the middle a potted flower plant. When I asked the family about it, they admitted that they buried their dog in there, despite being told not to. I told them that I would give them a week to remove the carcass, or I will evict them for damaging my property. A week passed and no action were taken. The entire family ghosted me, and they even had the nerve to pretend they weren't home when I went knocking at their door. It was about time to take action. I hired some professional services to dig up, remove and dispose of the dog when the family were out for work. After that, I messaged the family head that they have to move out within the next two months, as I no longer wish to rent my property to them anymore. I got angry replies later telling me how much of a heartless beast I was, for treating their beloved family member like trash, and to kick his family out of the house over a dog when they had nowhere else to go. I think I did give them enough warnings before it comes to this, but in the end, AITA? Am I a hole? NTA. Not the a hole. They really should have just had him cremated or something. That's not their property. I have no clue why anyone would even think that was okay to even ask of you. Who would want to bury their dog on rental property? What if they moved? It just makes no sense to me why they would do that. Especially after being warned. They knew it would happen because you warned them so it doesn't make you heartless for actually going through with what you say. It just makes them kind of dumb honestly. NTA. Not the a-hole. My dog died two years ago, and my dad offered to bury her on his four acres of property he has. I begged him for a cremation, because I couldn't stand the thought of leaving my dog on a plot of land that honestly isn't going to stay in my family. And these people are willing to bury their family member in the backyard of a house they don't own. Maybe I'm just odd but I couldn't leave someone I thought of as family in a place where I couldn't take them with me when I go. NTA. I find it bizarre that they would want to bury their dog on property they don't own, and I find it incredibly entitled of them to do it after you expressly told them not to. I love my pets, and they are part of my family, but I would never abuse a landlord's trust that way. YTA. You're the a-hole. Maybe they couldn't afford to have the dog cremated. That's not a service that people just give away. I'm sure they would have much rather buried the dog in the home on their own property, but they would have to own property to do that. You have a right to tell them no, but I guess I don't see why. They didn't want to leave their dog to rot under a bush. The earth is chock full of dead things. Your tenants should have listened to you, but unless they were already lousy tenants, this just seems like a lot over what amounts to a hole in the yard. NTA. It's not their property. Just because they rented it from you for four years, doesn't give them the right to do whatever they want with the property. You were understanding of their loss, and gave them many opportunities to not be a holes but ultimately it's your property. They need to learn to how to handle things that are not theirs with respect. ESH. Everybody sucks here. They should have listened, but a dog buried directly in the ground is going to decompose in less than a year, so I'm really not sure what your problem is about it. YTA. You're the a-hole. It's really not that big of a deal. Like are you seriously going to evict someone because of this? It's not damaged property, it's just a spot on your lawn. Frock off a bit. Max just give them a small fine or something. 
like burying something in the yard should not be grounds for eviction. This is a legal issue if your intent is to evict them, not an a-hole issue. I don't want to rent my property to them anymore isn't sufficient for eviction, though I a n a l. Info. You told them you would evict them for damaging the property, but did you tell them you would have the remains removed and discarded? ETA. NTA. I agree with commenters that say the consequences for failing to remove the remains were explicit. I still think local laws could protect OP from legal action if it is a fixed lease. Such as burial being illegal in the jurisdiction. Month to month. OP is in the clear. YTA. How is a dog underground damaging the property lol? If anything it's fertilizing your soil. It's natural. Also you exhume the dog without telling them. Which could be emotionally damaging in court. They have lived there this whole time with no other issues, YTA. It has now effect on your income or the property as grass would grow back immediately. YTA. You not only dug up and disposed of a dead animal, but you then proceeded to evict an entire family for it. You have no justifications here, you decided that a dead dog in the ground, that is full of dead things, was enough to kick a family out of a house. You're the reason why people say frock landlords bro. YTA. Dude these peoples have lived there for four years. You might own it but it's their home. We're talking a small patch of dirt for a member of their family. Have a frocking heart. Of course you're within your rights here, but you're deaf the a-hole here. YTA. This is such a stupid thing to get so worked up about, it's a body, it will rot away soon enough and provide free fertilizer for anything that grows in that flower bed. It's not like they're displaying the bones in the yard like a Halloween decoration, or building a little mausoleum for it. Let them treat their house like a home. They paid you for four years and this is the way you treat them. You are definitely an a-hole. Going against the grain and saying YTA. It wasn't a carcass it was a beloved family pet they wanted to keep close. Your reasoning, people might mistake dog bones for child bones, is frankly ridiculous, and I have no idea why you would choose to evict a long-term tenant, who you presumably had no previous issues with, over something this small. But you do you I guess. YTA. You're the a-hole without a doubt. Have you ever had a dog? It doesn't sound like it. They undoubtedly believed that they would be continuing to rent your home for some time, and wanted to keep their beloved dog close to them. Maybe cremation would have been better, but it's expensive, and maybe burying him in the place that he spent his final four years, was the best thing for their grieving process. Pets are family to most people, after all. I think that the fact that you dug the deceased dog up, and discarded the carcass is the most disgusting thing you could have done, and likely extremely traumatizing to the family. You do realize that the dog would have decomposed rather quickly, and that his remains would have been a non-issue for any future tenants, or you for that matter. I think the disrespect with which you treated this beloved pet speaks to your character, or lack thereof. I wonder how you treat people and other animals. My guess is not very well. YTA. I think it's an overreaction to evict them, it was overwrought move to remove the dog so quickly. I'm not saying the family were right to ask permission and go ahead without it when a cremation, and a movable urn would have been a decent compromise. Give them a chance to pay the bill for the corrective landscaping, if they want to stay, at least. This may be the odd opinion out, but I don't care. Not only do I think YTA, but I think you're a massive one. People care for pets like children. I'm guessing you've never lost a pet before, but it is devastating. These people simply wanted to put their loved one to rest close to their home, and you wouldn't allow it. They probably couldn't afford to have the pet cremated, so this buried it instead. And you kick them out to where they no longer have that loved one close. 
in the grand scheme of things, it's a thing that will decompose onto the earth. It literally affects you in no way shape or form. Again, probably not the popular opinion, but I'm not sorry.